there, people. I was asking a question about some Windows content in a Windows Discord, and just because I was curious. And someone mentioned PowerShell, and I'm like, PowerShell? And they start to talk about scripting and all of that stuff, and I was like, I, I don't really know much about PowerShell. <laughs> so I thought, why not make a, a little series of what you would call it about a Linux nerd looking at PowerShell? So today I'm just going to start off PowerShell. We're going to read a little bit about it on the interwebs. I just booted up Windows 10 in a virtual machine. I, the the only thing I have done with PowerShell is like doing the normal command and there's a newer version i need to upgrade the shit there but anyway i the only thing i normally done is like do you know the 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 the, the normal cd and 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 dear stuff and, and and copy paste a few command in and look at some processes and stuff like that no oh, it helps if i can actually spell Th this is kind of what i've done with powers yeah <laughs> I, I used it as a dos terminal basically but uh, you can do so much with powershell but again, I have no fucking idea about it other than I know that you can do a lot of shit with PowerShell. Let's let's read li up a little bit about what PowerShell actually is and what it, it, it can do. So if we go in here and we click on PowerShell here, PowerShell uh, documentation, PowerShell Wikipedia. So it's designed by Jeff Lee's blog, Bruce, whatever. Uh, yeah, and it's developed under Microsoft. Paradigm, Interactive Pipeline, Object Oriented, Functional Reflective. It was first appeared in 2006. Oh, implementation language, C Sharp. Microsoft loves C Sharp, so this kinda, it kinda makes sense that they will be using C Sharp. PowerShell tutorial here, PowerShell for beginners. We're not going, again, this is just me looking at it from like a, if I was like the, you know, I had no fucking idea what a computer was kind of thing, you know. Uh, like a new pe a new person that just discovered Linux for the first time and going onto the internet and res researching Linux. This is just me first look at it, researching it and how to take it from there. Maybe do some tutorials with it, learn how to script with it and stuff like that because I kind of want to see what I can do with PowerShell here. So there's some PowerShell documentation. I'm actually going to bookmark this here. And so we have here set up a modules browser. Simple scripts is something I really, really want to look at. PowerShell gallery, uh, Windows PowerShell, PowerShell. You can get it on Windows, Mac OS. I may have to install it on good old Windows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a PowerShell DSC, uh, DSC overview. Let's look at that. Development resources, relationship technologies, community res user groups. There's a Reddit post. Oh my God, Power Slack or Slack. Sorry, there's a lot of um, great stuff in here. The module browser. So we have to let's say all packages here. Let's just do all pack. Oh, that's the search parameters. What if I do? Um, let's try Linux just for fun. No results. Uh, Python. No results. Oh, scripting. Mo um, yeah, I have no idea uh, what to search for. Like I said, I, I this is how noob I am to power. I don't even know what modules inclined for. Simple script for system administrator. Viewing object structure. That could be a fun one. Creating .NET and .com object or .com object. Use statistic classes and method. This is. Uh, oh. Managing drives, managing drive, and managing computers, chasing computer state. That that's one I really really want to look at. Managing current location, uh, working with files and folders, working with registry ent uh, ent 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 entries, creating UI element. Okay, create a custom input, create a graphical data. Ooh, managing processes with process commandlets. Managing services like this really like for my Linux user when I when I read all of this I I think bass you know bass fish uh, set s eight and stuff like that uh, viewing object structure get member uh, get process get member get host pagan creating a dot net new object uh, type name system dot dynastic dot event sounds a little bit like JavaScripting or something like that when I read it like that. So I can technically just copy this. Or do I need the brackets? Again, I am really new to this. Yeah. True for, uh, so is public 
true. Is serial false? So this is our unregistered version of Windows. I'm using the Windows 10, you know, a base top system projected the name environment. Ah, I like this. I like it a lot. Oh, this one here, OS version. Let's look at this one here. That that's that that looks really really interesting. So this is the current version that I'm running. So yeah, uh, Microsoft Windows NT, I think oh, ever since Windows XP, I think they started to call it Windows NT because we're running the NT kernel. Or it may be after, uh, like with Vista and up, I can't remember to be honest. Platform Windows 32, I'm not running 32-bit, am I? No, this should be like a 64-bit version of Windows. But this is the version, you know, Windows 10. I should be on a later upgrade, or I don't know. Maybe I'm getting the, the version number I'm confused here. I have used Windows since the 90s, like 90. I think the first Windows machine I had was like in 90, 93 or something like that. But I've never been deep diving into Windows. But my, my operating system deep dives has always been in OS 2, BOS, Linux. Like I, when I discovered Linux in like 1997, 8, it, that was the operating system I wanted to learn. Windows have always just been an operating system I used, not I, I want to learn. Of course, I learned a lot of stuff about Windows, but mostly from a user, end user perspective, you know, handling firewalls and handling, um, you know, virus malware and setting it up for, uh, you know, a consumer a viewer never to this i never dealt this deep into windows before so uh, here you can also use the shutdown exe tool with its log off option okay log off. i didn't know this so this this equipment so basically doing a sudo apt or not sudo app but sudo uh, reboot or log out or something like that under linux so under linux we'll just do pwd it actually works a uh, print working directory you can kind of uh, get the same results i get so if i if i copy this in and yeah it's it's basically the same as pwd under linux list all files and folders within a folder uh, get child item so under linux it would be something like we will do list and then dash a uh, we will get everything in a folder so you you could kind of say that compared to this here uh, path c uh, recursed. Let's try this one here. And let's find it in here and do this. And now we're getting... Oh, we're also getting the subfolders and everything here, I guess. Yeah, we're also getting subfolders. So Control c will break a command just like under Linux. So this here is the current version. So what does it go to tell us about the current version? Uh, wallpaper direct... Oh, wallpaper directory. Media path. Far oh product id device path ah i wonder if you can do something like that this under linux and unix you probably can what happens if i copy this and put it into the uh... so it's basically just like a bash script we just made please enter the information uh, in this in the spec space or in the space below boop so it outputted boob. Yeah, yeah, text box, text box location. This is almost, if not as easy as uh, TTK when your item, yeah, new object system, system.windows form. So we are making a, oh. Let me know what you guys and girls think that I should dive into. Should I start with just doing a simple tutorial and learn the basics? Do you have something that like, try and look into this, you know, we want to see you look into this part of PowerShell and stuff like that. I probably got a shit ton wrong and, and misunderstood a massive amount of things with PowerShell. Because like I said, I, I know almost as much of PowerShell as I do about baking. So let me know what you guys and girls and aliens and robots want me to do next. It would be amazing to, uh, to get some feedback on that. But anyway, see you all later. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.